Hello, hello, and welcome to yet another demo day with us here at Arcana Network. But today is unlike any other day. Today is the day we take a giant leap towards bringing chain abstraction to literally every user, developer, and app there is out there in the Web3 space. Today is the day we launch the Arcana Chain Abstraction SDK. It's a JavaScript SDK that we basically plugs into any Web3 frontend. And it's an integration that's really, really simple and just basically takes a matter of minutes. Now I know this gets overstated, you know, the fact of integration in a matter of minutes and such, but we've taken great care over these past few months to ensure that it's not only the user experience that is 10x, but also the developer experience. And with this integration, developers can now give all their users a multi-chain experience without actually needing to build multi-chain. Let's see this in action. If you want to try it out, you can actually try it out at sdk.arcana.network, head over there. And the first thing you will notice is that any app that integrates with the Arcana SDK actually works with any wallet that's out there. And for example, I can go here and connect with either my Phantom, MetaMask or Rabi, it'll all work. I'm going to go ahead and connect my MetaMask. It's going to ask me to do the, the CV transaction in my app. So what we've done in this demo is try to contrast the status quo, the experience that apps dole out today, versus what it can be in a chain abstracted world. On the left here, you'll see the standard plain Jane sort of user experience, right? Where users are presented with you know different chains that the app is on. Now the app firstly needs to kind of deploy to all of these chains, maintain all of these instances, it's work and effort that can actually be well spent innovating and adding new features that would be really useful for users. But instead, you know, this is what developers have to do today. And users pick a chain and then they see their balances on that particular chain and basically can only spend balances that they have on that chain. Now the only way they can spend more than they have on this particular chain is to actually bridge over their assets from you know, other chains and so on. On the right here is, is the promised future, right? It's an app that showcases this integration with the Arcana SDK, where you can actually show your users this sort of unified balances for their different assets across different chains. As you can see here, I have some ETH across four different chains. I have USDT here across two different chains and so on. Now, I'm going to demonstrate how anyone can, through this integration, enable this seamless movement of these unified assets from, from their wallets to make any sort of spend, right? So I'm going to do this with a simple send transaction, transfer to another account. But you can easily imagine this button to sort of be like, let's say, a deposit into your smart contract, right? Um, or it could be like the mint NFT button, which mints an NFT. Or it could be, I don't know, a supply into uh, a pool in your DeFi app. Or basically any arbitrary payment or purchase that a user would basically do in the Web3 world. And so let's let's actually try and imagine the scenario where you built your app on, on Arbitrum, right? And your user comes, connects their wallet to your app, and your app requires them to spend some USDT on Arbitrum. But as you can see here, the user actually has none. So in the normal scenario, the user would be turned away or would need to go to another interface, go and bridge over assets to be able to use. This is massive fiction, not anymore. So now the user actually gets to see that they have this unified balance and will be able to spend it. Right? So let me go ahead and show this to you. So let me just copy this address. So I'm going to send this address on Arbitrum where I actually have no USDT let's say about 5 USDT, right? And this is going to come out of this entire pool that I have across all the different chains. I'm just going to hit continue. The first step is obviously switching over to the chain. Uh, the SDK realizes that the app is on Arbitrum and will go ahead and switch over. And then what the SDK provides you is with data to be able to kind of present this sort of intent screen, which says the user is trying to spend 5 USDT. They don't have it on Arbitrum, but they have it on OP. And basically for a fee, they can make it happen. So you can present this fee and these sources and this breakup, however you want to, right? Fully customizable at your end. And if the user is okay, you can basically get them to confirm and sign off on this. So the first step is them signing off this message, which is their intent, right? 
it's a cashless transaction it's just a signature so no, no money is need to be spent there now what happens is the protocol basically takes care of taking the funds from my op balance and a solver will supply me the missing liquidity on the arbitrum side and once i have it i can actually do the final send transaction which will be on my metamask again very shortly so this should show up in a couple of seconds here there we go uh, now i have the funds on arbitrum to be able to kind of make this transfer i go ahead and hit confirm and basically my transaction will go through and everything gets done right so this is the kind of seamlessness that we want to bring to the web3 space this is going to be possible with the arcana sdk uh, in beta right now and you developers can start trying this out and giving users a multi chain experience the users lives are going to be improved for you as a developer you have to make zero smart contract changes it's going to be just overriding your existing ethereum provider so on and so forth very very minor changes literally one line changes in the way you handle like balance calls and send transaction calls and that's about it and for the user they're just clicking a few buttons in their existing wallet and that's about it so we're really excited to see what people kind of go ahead and build with the sdk if you have any questions we to go, go head over to the docs and check it out we'll have links for it over here or you can go ahead and schedule a demo with us and we'll hook you up um, and yeah really excited uh, thank you for watching bye bye